Athleticism on the four tonight, Brent. What do you Let's think go. could determine the outcome? Well, if you're going to play that fast, you're going to have to make decisions that don't catch up with the speed, and that means making the right quick decisions and not rushing things. If these teams get ahead of themselves, the first ones to do that, they might find themselves in a hole. So the opening lineup for the Heat, that court pair for them, it's Lowry and Robinson, Butler and Tucker up in the forward spots, and it's Autobio in at the center position. Now here's Butler. Outside Robinson. Six to shoot. Adebayo with a screen for Robinson. The Heat need to get a shot off. Get it to go. That one good from Adebayo. That time Bam just shifted the D over and found the bucket all by himself. Now let's send it over to David Aldridge who was able to talk with Taylor Jenkins. Well, Kevin, he talked about his team's defensive mindset. He said they have to be willing to sacrifice a little room in the paint. It means they stay tight on their outside shooters. He said it's no secret those guys attack from long range. And that's what we've got to stop. We'll see, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Obviously, the three ball is a big concern for any defense. Here's Butler following the basket by John Morant. Butler passes to Autobio. Tillman grabs the miss. Well, you could tell right there he just wanted to go for the jam, but the defense too good and distracting. Morant surveying the D. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Adebayo. Robinson for three. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. And the Grizzlies with possession. Anderson passes to Jackson. Back to Anderson. Jackson setting the pick here for Anderson. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. It's so important that Anderson can step up and knock down shots like that. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. Back to Butler. Right wing. Here's Autobio. Miami no good on that time either. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now here's Morant. Against Golden State, he was really on his game. Jackson dishes to Morant. Jackson a screen on Lowry. Here's Morant. A second chance effort. He takes it up and lays it in. I have to respect Morant's activity on the offensive glass. Has an outstanding feel for when to go and attack the board. Morant's against Lowry. Master Robinson. Will it go? Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. That's what he gives you. A big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. And the Grizzlies with possession here after the Heat pickup, too. Jackson a screen on Buck. Anderson outside. Pass to Jackson. Brooks from outside. And again, it's Memphis with the three. And they're always in a flow, some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Autobio with a screen on Morant. Pass to Autobio. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first and and look at the size of Bam Autobio. Rare to see someone so big be so fluid 
with the ball. And, and how much GA does that ability unlock what this team can do offensively around Bam? The DHOs or dribbling up from the post to make plays or involving him at the top of the key to find backdoor cutters. That's a lot of extra action for teams not to be able to prepare for because of Bam's skill. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Here's Moran, and finished off by Moran. How about the authority from Moran? The way he was running, you knew he was aiming to shatter the rim. Now, here's Butler. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Knocks down the three ball. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Here's Morant. He has six. Lowry finds Butler. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Driving to the basket. Here's Autobio. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And it's tied up with that one. And for teams already exceeding expectations, Greg, their spirits are running sky high right now. And it's such a great feeling to come out strong. But, but it's hard to maintain that consistency. The teams that do, they believe in themselves and they keep playing to their strength. Here's Butler following the basket by John Morant. Butler feeling out a bit. Eight away, score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Well, the mid-range game right now is doing a lot of damage to this defense, courtesy of Jimmy Butler. Butler against Anderson. Brooks outside. Morant outside. And there's the cry. And finished up by Morant. Yeah, I'm amazed at Morant's ability to take contact and still stay in full control. Outside Butler. Adebayo with a screen on Anderson. Butler finds Adebayo. Takes the alley pass and dunks it down. That's everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there. Vertical, good hands, and the big throwdown. Anderson against Butler. Jackson setting the pick here for Anderson. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Lowry drives in. Back to Butler. Lowry against Morant. Back to Butler. Five on the clock. The pass to Robinson over Morant, and Robinson gets it to go on the assist by Butler. Butler's got three assists in the game. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. Yeah, it is always a great feeling when you go the extra distance, double OT in this case, and are able to come away with that win. for Oladipo, he had a strong showing last season. He averaged about 19 points a game, 
four assists and five rebounds. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up and he's really delivered. And so here's Memphis trailing by two. Here's Bain. Jones looking for an opening. Six on the shot clock. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. Melton, no good. The Heat have gone 7 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Deadman a screen. Throws it up high. Hammers the alley oop through. Now we get used to this. Deadman on the receiving end of the alley oop. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Four point game. This, of course, their first chance to play Miami this season. It's an East versus West matchup tonight. First meeting of the year between these two. Yeah, fun to see maybe strangers because you just aren't familiar with these faces here tonight. This will be a very exciting game to watch. And so here is Miami after Memphis gets the three. Now, Hero. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Shoots over Melton. And another basket for Miami. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Inside. Morris with the block. Got a piece of it. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Clark. Well, somehow they kept possession of the ball after that poor pass. Uh, they should be very thankful that wasn't a turnover. Stolen away. Now here's Melton. He's covered by Hero. Mark against Morris. He kicks it to Oladipo. Passes it to Akpala. Now Hero. Shot clock at six. Poked away. The three. And the Heat. Another three. Tyler Hero ready to pull the trigger at any time. Now here's Melton. He's covered by Hero. Melton kicks to Jones. Back to Melton. Here's Bain. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. The Grizzlies with another miss. That's one he knows he should have drained. Now, Hero. He's covered closely. Second shot opportunity. Shots good by Deadman. And now it's an eight-point heat lead. And boy, have they come out strong, really pounding the offensive board for second chance points. Jones kicks to Adams. Two minutes remaining in the fourth. The dish to Clark. Payne for three. And there's the rebound by Deadman. Deadman's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. 143 left in the first. Akpala, the pass to Deadman. And Oladipo has it in the corner. Oh, my! He'll go to the line with a chance for a four-point play. It's going to go on Tyus Jones. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Heat. And they've managed to capitalize on those turnovers. And that'll give them a nice edge as this game goes along. For some reason, they've also had guys in the right spots on the offensive glass. Lots of putbacks. Hey, Greg, you were just talking about Oladipo. He holds a very high standard for himself. Yeah, he's trying to reach another level every year. Wants to keep growing, making everything more consistent. And it's possible we still haven't seen the best of him yet. It's T-Shirt Bonanza. Make some noise. All right, looking for the 
Bain. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And the foul called on Brandon Clark. That's his first foul. Kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. Now, here's Oladipo. 11 left in the first quarter of the game. Pass to Hero. And a miss there on the triple. And there's the foul. It's on Dwayne Dedman. That's his first foul. First team foul. The Grizzlies trail by 12. There's a minute left to play in the first quarter. Clark, the pass to Bain. And the drought. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first personal foul. The Grizzlies shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago. About 77% from the line. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. A great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now, here's Deadman. Oladipo outside. Has to Hero. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Deadman. It's Clark with the rebound. And Clark has got the ball here for the Memphis Grizzlies. Trailing by 10. Melton cans the 12-footer. Melton's got five now. Yeah, you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. Oladipo against Jones. Oladipo, the pass to Hero. Good, and it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Eight points for him. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. And so it's Miami. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Talk to Jimmy Butler. His confidence in this Miami team, Greg. We got a team for the guys that can score. You talk about scoring and defending and playmaking. Greg, Jimmy Butler can do all three. Yeah, leading the way with his play, he's made a huge difference ever since he joined the team. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And for the Heat here, they've been putting on a show, guys. In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. There's so much unselfish play out there. The coaching staff has to be thrilled with that. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So on the floor for Memphis. The guard pair. It's Morant and Brooks. Jared Jackson is out there with Clark. 
and it's Bain into the small forward position. Nailed from three-point land. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. The three from Morant. That shot off. And the Heat going the other way now. Their next game is at the American Airlines Center in Dallas for a game with the Mavericks. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Back to Hero. Heat moving the ball around. Butler with the ball. Guarded now by Jackson. And Bain pulls it down. The Grizzlies trail by 14. The pass to Morant. Brooks with it. Clark outside. Jackson a screen on low. Morant kicks to Jackson. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Jackson's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Mark against Butler. Over Clark. Got a piece of it. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Butler against Clark. Outside Lowry. Clark against Butler. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. Hits the three-point bomb. Robinson's got six points in the quarter. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. And it's Morant missing. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. Lowry can't get it to go. The Grizzlies trail by 12. Brooks the best to Morant. Jackson a screen on Buck. Morant with it. Now defended by Adebayo. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And if you're wondering if John Morant lacks for confidence, well, look no further than his point god moniker. This kid is fearless, and he's hungry. And he plays with that proverbial chip on his shoulder. That's good from Morant. And Craig, you talk about the fearlessness for Morant, reminiscent of Allen Iverson, the way he throws his body all around. I mean, get knocked down, get right back up. At the same time, at 6'3", he can add strength to that frame. I know that's the goal of his as he looks to absorb contact and dish out a little of his own. Adebayo with a screen on Anderson, and they double up Butler. is it to Robinson. Now here's Adebayo. Back to Robinson. That's in coming off and this is from Adebayo. Robinson's got 14 points. That's a dozen straight points coming off the trip. Morant outside. Outside Jackson. And again Memphis no good. Heat leading by 13. And here's Lowry. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Butler against Morant. Puts one up from 19. The Heat rebound. Outside for Robinson. Outside Butler. Back to Robinson. Outside Butler. Tries again. Goes back up. Persistence pays Number off as one. they finally hit a shot. Robinson's got 11 points in the quarter. Down low. And finished off by Anderson. A point who knows his role. John loves setting guys up. Always looking to pass it. Lowry with the ball. He's picked up by Morant. Adebayo with a screen on Morant. Here's Lowry. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. That's on Jaron Jackson. And bring some interesting family history here. Your dad, Rick, 
brother John, and you all ended your careers playing for the Houston Rockets. The next time, Kevin, that you and I are broadcasting a game in Houston, I'll walk you across the street to the Barry Cemetery, and we'll take a look at the headstone. And, and you know, Lowry, the consummate floor general, his leadership on the court and in the locker room really brings this team together and makes them an effective unit. The Grizzlies trail by 15. Here's Anderson and finished off by Anderson. And way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. I am his on 7 of 10 shooting from three-point land tonight. Excellent numbers from outside. Adebayo with this green on Morant. The drive by Lau. And the rejection by Jackson. Pass to Morant. Back to Brooks. Good and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got his third assist on the night. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Butler with the ball. Going inside and slam Jimmy dunk Butler. by Butler. That was a possession where Jimmy Butler just did not settle for the jump shot. Drove right in and came right at the defense. And Morant's got the ball here for the Grizzlies. Pass to Jackson. Here's Tillman. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his second first it's going to be on Bam Adebayo. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the one. line for Memphis, Xavier Tillman. At the line for two. And he makes the first. And the Heat with some changes. Markeith Morris is checked in for Otto Bayer. And it's Oladipo in for Duncan Robinson. So he hits one of two from the strike. And working Kevin themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. The Heat leading by 12. Butler with the ball. Guarded now by Jackson. And Tucker kicks to Butler. Right side, Lowry. Fires the three. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got six assists now in the game. Smart play by Jimmy Butler. Spots the open man. Tack up an assist. Here's Morant. Finds the open look, and it's on target. Morant's got six points in the quarter. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Butler against Anderson. Outside Butler. Now the pass to Oladipo. Over Brooks. Offensive rebound. The kick outside to Butler. Now here's Tucker, guarded by Jackson. Back to Butler. Another shot, and it's good on the way in. Butler's got six points. Just a great show of Butler's upper body strength right there as he plays through the contact. Who wants a chaser? All right, look who's coming up to the court. Come on and get that for your chaser. Some changes for Memphis. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Tillman. DeAnthony Melton comes in for Dylan Brooks. And Jones subbed in for Morant. The Grizzlies trail by 15. Now Jones. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Jackson is screen on Lowry. Lowry against Jones. Outside Jackson. And again, Memphis no good. The Heat leading by 15. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, the number of female officials in the NBA has grown in recent years. 
Commissioner Adam Silver said, we've expanded our pipeline to greatly increase the pool of potential hires. And we've seen encouraging results. There's no reason why we shouldn't have more women as officials, coaches, and basketball executives in our league. Kevin? Thank you, DA. Here is Anderson. He has seven. Nine feet out. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. For Miami, they've gone 7 of 16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. Drains it from beyond the arc. You know, that was a time when three point shooting was a liability for Lowry. But the guy has put in the time, and now he is a solid option from deep. Now, here's Anderson. Defense is right there. He dishes it to Jackson. Six to shoot. Here's Jones. Morris with the rebound. Miami leading by 18. Outside Lowry. Oladipo with a screen on Jones. Oladipo outside. Back to Lowry. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And this is what the schedule looks like coming up for Memphis. On Monday, they'll be matching up with Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Anderson right side. Passes it to Melton. Just five to shoot. They need this one. Denman with the block. Well, Denman's reach is a huge advantage there to help him tally some more block shots. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Some changes for Memphis. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Jaron Jackson. And it's Bain in for Anderson. Lowry against Jones. Oladipo sets the screen for Lowry. And again, the turnover by the Heat. The Grizzlies trail by 18. Now, here's Melton. Five points in the game. Clark a screen on Oladipo. remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Now, here's Melton, guarded by Oladipo. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. Over Jones. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Lowry's got 10 points in the quarter. Memphis has gone 1-6 from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%, but they've continued to let him fly. Jones against Lowry. The 11-footer. Jones, no luck. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for Miami. They lead by 20. It's the most we've seen. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. And the difference in that one, the efficiency from range. They really focused on getting good looks. It looked like the directive in that game was that they wanted to attack and all that work that they put in on the perimeter turned into a big night from deep. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Here's Oladipo, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Oladipo, a guy who can live at the line with his power and explosiveness around the glass. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And last season, he made good on about three out of every four free throw attempts. Uh, and last time I checked, I think that's 75%. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. The Heat making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. He's off on the second. The 2013 draft, Victor Oladipo out of Indiana becomes the second overall pick. And he broke out in his first season with the Pacers. Nice to see him come back from this injury and start to make an impact. 
Lowry against Jones. Lowry dishes to Robinson. He kicks to Oladipo. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer, Lowry. Good, and it's Oladipo picking up the assist. Oladipo's got three assists tonight. Now, here's Melton. Guarded by Oladipo. And here's Melton. Over Deadman. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. It's the Heat running away with this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Taylor Jenkins is here with us in the second quarter. Coach, tough sledding at both ends of the floor. How do you fix it? You know, it hurts our offense. We're not able to get stops to get out and run in, so not a good quarter for us. We just got to keep being aggressive defensively, be a little bit more disciplined. And we'll see if that can pick up as the game continues. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. Shaq, were there certain player matchups that gave you, uh, I guess, extra motivation? Well, whoever would make the biggest headline after I put them on the post. And right now, let's talk about that monster first half for the Miami Heat. The difference in bench points is staggering. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Heat leading by 22. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. And Robinson on the wing. He's joined by Butler. Adebayo is the pivot with Tucker playing the four. And it's Lowry in at the point. Back to Adebayo. Lock at six. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. That's his second personal foul. And every bit of the body control right there for Adebayo out there, going right through the contact. He's got his fourth free throw of the game. just what it is that's next for Bam as he's shown incredible improvement in a very short amount of time as one of the more versatile bigs in the league. There's a lob to Jackson. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley. -oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Butler attacking. Well, Jimmy Butler not going to back down in that situation, just inviting some contact. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Shooting for Miami, Jimmy Button at the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. And so Butler nails both of them. You don't become this good in this league unless you put in a lot of hard work. And there's some evidence that Jimmy Butler has done that through the years. Takes the 13-footer, and it's off the back rim. No good. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Drives to the hoop. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And a moment now to check out the numbers for John Moran. A very nice season for him last year. He was around 19 points per game last year. Seven assists and four rebounds. And he's also a bit of a stopper defensively. They put him in, and their defense really tightens up. This is his specialty. He sits on the bench. He gauges what's happening offensively. 
and he comes in and sticks the opponent's top scorer to freeze him out. And so Butler nails both of them. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Jackson, a screen on Butler. To stop the run, Jackson trying to break free. And it's Morant missing. Heat shooting about 59% from the floor offensively. They've been running without a hitch. Pass to Lowry. Outside Butler. And they double up Butler. Pass to Robinson. Let's it go with a three. And there's the foul. It will go on P.J. Tucker. That is his first foul of the game. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here. Defending the triple. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Jackson finds Anderson. Back to Jackson. Morant passes to Tillman. Six on the shot clock. Anderson outside. Over Robinson. Anderson can't get it to go. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. There's a good screen. Butler passes to Tucker. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got his eighth assist in the game. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Now, here's Morant for three. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. Miami ball. You know, these are the guys you need to be aware of. If you don't want your pocket picked, <laughs> here are last season's steals leaders. Number one, Jimmy Butler. There were so many nights when he controlled the game through his defense. Not a surprise to see him ranked at the top. Morant against Lowry. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jaron Jackson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. It, it really a tough break for the game. Tyler Hero. He's checked in for Kyle Lowry. Right around three minutes into the second half. Butler against Anderson. He gets it in there. Jimmy Butler. Butler's got six here in this quarter. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Here's Morant, Jackson, and the dunk by Jackson. Boy, that has to be great. Ending a 14-0 run by Miami. And coming out of high school, John Morant said he was a no-star recruit. One reason he may have been overlooked was his small-town upbringing. Growing up in Dalzell, South Carolina. Anderson with the block. Good intensity on defense. Kyle Anderson using the length that time and timing it well to get the rejection. Stolen by Robinson. Now, Hero. He's guarded closely. Robinson kicks to Butler. Five to shoot. Here he goes. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Jaron Jackson. Now you look how Jimmy Butler stays committed on that play, ready to overcome the defender and still take the shot. The free throw drops for Butler. And even though he played in an AAU team with Zion Williamson, you know, scouts, Greg, were looking right past John Morant. And didn't get a lot of offers at first. After two years at Murray State, he joined Steph Curry and Damian Lillard as another star point guard out of a mid-major program. And to this day, he carries that underdog chip on his shoulder. Morant outside. Outside Jackson, and it's Brooks in the corner over Butler. Brooks misses. And it's Adebayo with the ball for the Miami Heat. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. 
the path to Hero. In the corner, it's Robinson. From the arc. Miami no good on that time either. Grizzlies have gone only one of six in the field in the third quarter. Not how they pitch at the half start. And Brooks gets it on the assist by Anderson. And that's now seven points for Brooks. And you have to like how active Brooks is on the floor. Working hard to be where his team needs him on that break. Now Hero, guarded by Morant. Fader on the way, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. First team And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Miami. And they've made the long range look like a layup at times in this one, guys. Another thing they've done well tonight is to share the basketball. So many of their buckets have just been off crisp offensive sets, setting up their shooters. Butler against Brooks. Butler passes to Autobio. Stolen by Brooks. Melton feeling it out a bit. Morant outside. Beyond the arc. Connects from three-point range. Morant's got 22 points. Well, the defense very attentive to him in the first quarter, but he's finally gotten loose in the second and making them pay. Adebayo with a screen for Butler. Into the lane. It's rebounded by Memphis. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Hero, that's a two-pointer. Here's Adebayo. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Yeah, those possessions like zombies staying alive out there, courtesy of Bam Adebayo. It's Morant with the drive. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Jimmy Butler. He's made all three of his free throws so far. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. The first one falls. And expectations skyrocketed for Morant after the success of his rookie year. But if you ask me, he has risen to that challenge and continues to set a high bar for himself. Baines checked in for Dylan Brooks. The Heat also changing it up. Wayne Dedman comes in for Bam Adebayo. And Morris subbed in for Butler. Oladipo, the pass to Akpala. Four on the clock, kicks to Morris. Here's Dedman. The shot comes out. Now Memphis takes it the other way. On the wing, Melton. Out to Morant. Two points, that one goes. Morant's got nine points now in just the second half. And it just seems like Moran is always ready to outwork the defense. A big effort pays off for him there inside. Now, Hero, he's guarded closely. Morris inside. He's against Clark. Morris, no good. Passes to Bain. Picked by Clark. Here's Bain. Good work defensively by Morris. Hero with it. He's got 10. Shoots over Melton. And again, it's the Heat missing. To the middle. And stolen by Dedman. Driving the lane. Hero no good. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Morant outside. Back to Melton. Three-pointer. It's Deadman with the rebound. 
Deadman's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Now Hero. He feeds it to Deadman. Hero trying to get open. Shots good by Deadman. Deadman's got six points. Well, intelligent play there by Hero. Upsets the defense and then hands it off for the assist. Rant and the layup's good off the glass. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Oladipo, the pass to Hero. Back to Oladipo. It's over Morant. Oladipo, good. He's got seven. Shot selection paying off their patience by Oladipo and then knocks it down from the perimeter. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 158 left to play in the third. Now, here's Melton. He's covered by Hero. KZ Apollo. And that's his second personal foul. Grizzlies have made seven foul. out of nine when they've stepped to the line. At the line from Memphis, DeAnthony Melton taking two shots. And the first one drops. And Memphis making a change here. Jones has checked in. Melton hits them both. And here's Oladipo. He'll bring it up for the Heat. A minute 42 left here in the third quarter. Hero from long range. And Bain pulls it down. Well, he got off to a terrific start from the perimeter, but in the second half, he can't seem to build on that early success. Melton, no good. Miami's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Yeah, I guess when you're up this big, you can afford to get a little sloppy. Here's Bain. There's 117 left in the third quarter of the game. Lobbed up there for Clark. Great communication on the alley. -oop. Oh, what a pass. And then he lays it in. What the circus move. So smooth. Now, Hero. He's guarded by Melton. Now, Hero. Shot clock at five. Deadman trying to break free. Shot's good by Hero. Hero's got 12 points in the game. And the defense knows that Hero can get that jumper working from just about anywhere. We've got 28 seconds left in the third. Now, here's Melton. Defense right on him. Here's Jones. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Jones has got his first basket of the night. Be a quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. Pass to Hero. Back to Oladipo. Fires from deep. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's Miami. Rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. 
Jones is out there with Chris Dunn. Then it's Williams. And it's Tillman in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Oh, yeah. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. And this August, the summer league was back in Las Vegas, Greg. And that's where you're from. That's where you played. How pleased are you to see your hometown become a mecca for the game in the offseason? Oh, it is such a proud moment for me, born and raised here, growing up here. And, and quite honestly, I'm just thrilled that we have Summer League again. After what we've gone through, partner, it is just a breath of fresh air to get back to focusing on the little things. At the line for Memphis, Tyus Jones. Two shots. And that one falls for Jones. And so Jones nails both of them. And Miami has possession. Here's Vincent. Morris outside. And there's the whistle that goes on Chris Dunn. Chris Dunn. That is his first foul That's of the game. First personal foul. Yeah, clearly first a foul, foul of frustration right there. Here's Vincent. Shot clock at six. No good there. Good work defensively by Jones. Pass to Concha. To the paint, eight feet away. The shot misses. The Heat shooting at 52% for the field. They're clicking. Here's Vincent, defended by Jones. Vincent, the pass to Struess. Here's the screen. A three from Morris. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Dunn looking over the floor. It's not going to go for him. The Heat go the other way with it. Struz passes to Vincent. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. And there's the pass to Struess. Hits it from three-point range. Struess. Struess has got his first three points of the game. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor. And they give him a good open look from the perimeter. Here's Tillman. Great player movement is always a constant in the NBA, but with more players on the move every year, the power balance can shift in the blink of an eye. And we've seen it with the Lakers, right, just a few years ago. The Nets and a few others. Not everyone, though, loves it, but it sure keeps things interesting. Here's Vincent, and he drives in, and he uses the glass on the layup. Vincent's got his first bucket in this one. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Foul. And that's his second personal foul, 13 foul. At the line for Memphis, Xavier Tillman. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Anderson, he's checked in for Memphis. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here's Vincent, defended by Jones. Morris with a screen on Jones. Passes it to Akpala. Stolen by Anderson. Outside, Jones. 
Memphis moving it around. Back to Anderson. And with so many entertainment options these days, Brent, the NBA not shy innovating to attract and retain viewers. Where do you sit with that? Keep it the same or, or be creative? Well, I think the league does a great job of being creative, and I think that Adam Silver does a, a really good job of not just being a leader, but being a listener. And there's tremendous participation between the Players Association and the commissioner and the ownership group to continue to press the way that the game is played, try to innovate in the way that the game is broadcast, and uh, it'll continue to do those sort of things to draw in uh, the fans that, that love this game and are invited to that kind of competition. It's stolen by Jones. Now here's Williams. He's tightly guarded. Williams has a screen for Anderson. It's Jones on the wing. Six to shoot. Jackson kicks to Jones. Sweet move. It's blocked. And Jackson gets it to go. Timeout called the Heat. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? Miami Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. out there. The Heat leading by 22. And here's Lowry. Pass to Autobio. Back to Lowry over Anderson. Anderson with the block. Morant outside. And Greg, a lot of new head coaches stepping into this season. How does a first-year coach come in and, and, and win over a locker room? I mean, Kevin, that's a great question. And I think there's a, a combination of confidence and humility that one has to have. And I think, believe it or not, the most important trait you got to be consistent. Your message cannot waver. It cannot fluctuate. That's one way that you will lose a locker room. Back to Lowry. In the corner, it's Robinson. Pass to Autobio. Who's watching him? Feeds it to Robinson. Trying to end the drought. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24 second violation. Grizzlies ball. With it. There's the pass to Anderson. Over Robinson. Anderson can't get it to go. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Oh, why dunk you very much. He, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Anderson against Robinson. Jackson, a screen on Butler. Shot clock at six. Let's it go from 11. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Miami's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And with the 2020 class, we saw your teammate, Tim Duncan, get inducted into Basketball's Hall of Fame. Yeah, I loved hearing some of the stories that other players and coaches and competitors had around going up against Tim and the, the reverence, the respect uh, that they could never rattle him. And it's so cool to hear those stories from the outside, having been a player so fortunate to be on the inside and understand what made him tick, 
what made him great um, and, and just how special he was as a leader for so long for that Spurs organization. Driving inside. Jimmy. Oh, and the jam by Butler. Oh, Jimmy, that was impressive. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Morant. Count the basket. Morant's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shots. Adebayo with a screen on Anderson. Right side, Lowry. Pass to Adebayo. Back to Lowry. That's in, coming off an assist from Adebayo. And that's 15 points for Kyle Lowry. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And he just elevates and powers in the one hand. Mm -hmm. Textbook. Outside, Butler. All right, Greg, I'm going to put you on the spot. Who do you think right now has the best backboard in the NBA? Oh, goodness. I mean, so many terrific backcourts to choose from. You know, Phoenix has got to be in that conversation with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. But I'll tell you what, with the Splash Brothers healthy and back at it, it's just hard to beat that combination. And he knocks down the first one. I felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Catching up on the changes for Memphis. Bain comes in for Dylan Brooks, and it's DeAnthony Melton in for John Morant. The Heat also changing it up. Dwayne Dedmon's checked in for P.J. Tucker, and Vincent subbed in for Kyle Lowry. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Miami grabs the miss. Autobio's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Pass to Vincent. Autobio against Jackson. Autobio passes to Butler. And they double up Butler. Robinson with it. For three. The rebound by Anderson. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. And Jackson throws it down hard. Anderson has great vision as a point forward. Exceptional court awareness. Here's Vincent. He's guarded by Melton. Looking to end his cold spell. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. No question he got bumped on that shot. And this is the inaugural season for the G League's Mexico City Comitani. It's exciting to see pretty much now, Brent, all of North America under that NBA umbrella. Yeah, the first Mexican team ever in uh, U.S. Sports League, which I think is incredibly uh, innovative, exciting, and welcoming uh, from the NBA to extend down into Mexico. And it's going to create a lot more exposure uh, to, to the league. And it'll be interesting to see what kind of talent or who's inspired by a team in Mexico playing basketball on a nightly basis and seeing maybe new heroes in Mexico. Miami no good on that time either. The Grizzlies shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby, 38%. Pass to Jackson. Back to Melton. Pass to Bain. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Dylan Brooks, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Morant comes in for Milton. And Miami with a change here too. Struess is checked in. Miami leading by 22. Hero. Two minutes remaining of the day. Two minutes. 1.57 left in the fourth quarter. And again, it's the Heat missing. 
Memphis has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. The three from Morant. Cats in the tray. Morant's got five points in the quarter. Well, Morant is certainly making his presence felt on offense. He's in total attack mode. Deadman kicks to Hero. Passes it to Struess. Five to shoot. In the corner, it's Morris. Takes the three. The rebound by Anderson. The Grizzlies trail by 19. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for Miami. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. You know what? It was a team that was in sync and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year, actually their fifth win on the year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance, it was a big time outing for Jimmy Butler. So sharp on the passing tonight. You know, guys can get into a rhythm that way too. Some changes for Memphis. De'Anthony Melton comes in for Jaron Jackson. And Jones subbed in for Morant. Forty-six seconds left in the game. Just five on the clock. Hero passes to Morris. From deep. It's rebounded by Memphis. Brooks outside. That shot misses. And Miami the other way now. Struz passes to Vincent. Now Hero. They set the pick. Pass to Struz. Hero trying to get open. Miami no good on that time either. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were we waiting like for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to the two, and they made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Jimmy. I know you see defenses like that all the time, but it didn't seem to slow you down. Well, not really. Uh, I mean, I guess I just had it going. We started double teaming them too, you know, and they got so many great shooters, man. It's just good to win now. Uh, at the end of the day, we're going. Yeah, I know that's what counts, man, but congrats on the win. Thanks. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up for Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Olney. This is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Jimmy Butler.